My name's Andrew McLaughlin, I'm the Head of School and Dean of Pharmacy. And what do you do? Uh, I'm the Head of School and Dean of Pharmacy. <laughs> Um, I think seeing FanFan Fan get one of the Equity Fellowship Awards, which is really exciting. And second was our, I've had two proud moments, uh, was our business students doing, getting runs up in the business competition, which is really exciting. Um, too busy. I would like to uh, go back to Nepal, Namaste, and climb something that's a bit higher than where I got last time. Two little boys who arrived about 17 years ago. I got some great green glasses that are now a perpetual gift here to give to someone. I'm just finding the right person to re-gift them to. Chicken feet? That's not normal. Actually, can I go back? Yep. Horse cartilage. I was in Japan. Yep. Raw horse liver. Raw horse cartilage. That's a lot of sake getting that down. Right <laughs> tasted like chicken. No, no. Uh, crunchy and disappointing, and then it tasted like sake. Uh, cricket on Christmas Day in the backyard. Checking my emails and coffee. I had a banana and a coffee. Definitely George Clooney. Because, you know, we're often, nah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'll have George. It's going to be fried rice. Obviously with eggs, prawn, chow soy. Chow soup? Chow Choy sun. It's going to be all right. Don't be such an idiot. Elvis, uh, do you know what the safe dose of a barbiturate is? Yeah, it might be eating raw horse liver and cartilage. My cherry work. When I was just finishing uni doing my PhD, Sam and I had a fantastic trip to Western Australia, driving around the southwestern coast there, walking, swimming at beaches, and it was idyllic. Still is. I like love, actually. Actually. Well, of course, feared. I'd love to be feared. <laughs> it's a terrible question. How about one of each? You could be, you could still hop into things and be quite handy if you had one of each. Cricket. I think it, it kind of chose me because of a series of happy events. Uh, not enough time in the day. Too many emails. I think a little dragon that was kind of happy to be a pet would be cool. Yeah, well, kind of a bit big. I'd go for something smaller Game of Thrones style. No, but there's some little ones, you know, on your show, isn't there? I only, I only want a baby one. 